Here's another technique you will find necessary and useful as you build your skills manipulating paths and points in Adobe Illustrator. Again, I'm going to start with a basic shape and edit this into something useful for this cruise liner illustration. As in a previous sequence, I'll clear the decks and hide some of the existing layers and I'll make sure that the layer I've named foreground is active. Then I'll draw a circle. I'll start by selecting the ellipse tool from the rectangle tool group. Hold on shift to constrain the shape to a circle, then press and drag. Release the mouse before you release the shift key. Now I want to work with the direct selection tool. I'll click on the top anchor point to select it and I'll zoom in a little bit. This is a smooth point and what I want to do with this point is to retract the direction handles so that I convert the point to a corner point without direction handles. I'll show you two techniques. Particularly if I was working intensively with points and paths and I had a tear off pen tool panel on screen. You do that by going to a tool group, press and hold down the mouse button to see the tool group, then move your cursor onto the thin tear off bar, then click the tear off bar. Now I've got a floating pen tool panel where I can easily select the anchor point tool. I'll click on the anchor point tool to select it, position my cursor on the anchor point, then simply click once. That has retracted the direction handles or points and converted the anchor point to a corner point. I could easily do the same for the bottom anchor point, but I want to show you two techniques, so I won't do that. I'll close down the floating pen tool panel and I'll select the direct selection tool. And then I'll click on the bottom anchor point to select it. Then in CC 2018, I can go to the properties panel and I can click the Convert Selected Anchor Point to Corner button. If you're used to finding that button in the control panel running along the top edge of your Illustrator window, in CC 2018 you could change the workspace from Essentials to Essentials Classic and that will display the control panel as well as a panel dock of useful panels on the left of the Properties panel. That's a pleasing shape and could form the basis of an interesting logo, but I'm going to manipulate and adapt it so that it becomes some clumps of grass in the foreground of my illustration. Again, I'm working with the direct selection tool. I'll click on the right hand anchor point to select it, then drag it in towards the opposite anchor point. I'd like there to be a sense of a breeze, but that curvature is perhaps a little bit too much. So I'll just reposition the top anchor point. And get the shape I'm looking for. That's enough adjustments. I'll select the ordinary selection tool. I'll click away and then click on the object to make sure that the object is selected. I don't want a single anchor point on its own active for the next process. So the object is selected. I'll now select the rotate tool. The first bit of interface detail to be aware of, as soon as I select the rotate tool, you'll see the reference point appear at the center of the selected object. This is the point around which the transformation takes place. I want my rotation to take place around the bottom of the object. So the very first thing I'll do with the rotate tool is to click at the bottom of this strand of grass to set the reference point. Now I'll just reposition my cursor a little way from the reference point, hold down Alt or Option on a Mac to make a copy, then press and drag, release the mouse button before I release the Alt or Option key. Then I can use the keyboard shortcut Control D or Command D on a Mac to repeat the transformation once or twice, maybe three times, I'll go back to the selection tool, marquee select these objects, then group them, and repeat that rotation on a group in this case. Set the reference point, hold on the Alt key, press and drag the mouse button, release the mouse before you release the Alt key, and again, 
control D just to repeat that one more time. That's good. I'll bring back some of my layers, group those objects together, reposition them, resize them if I need to. Please like the like if you like to like. If you're looking for a structured, logical, step-by-step -step way to improve your skills and learn Illustrator, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this movie. There are links to the other related movies covering paths and points in this learning sequence in the show more extended description also below this movie. Thanks for watching.